Alistair Overing. All right, here we go, round one, this heavyweight rematch between Alistair Overeem and Francis Ngannou. They have tracked down Overeem's head, put it back <laughs> on his body, and here comes the rematch. In the moment the head got reattached, he signed the bout <laughs> agreement. Give me another shot at Francis Ngannou. Feels that with his high-level striking background, he is a much better fighter in that he just got caught the first time. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice strike landed there by the ring. Ngannou's kick is blocked. <laughs> Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Overeem. Circling towards the left now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Good punch, Lance. Oh! Huge kick to the body! Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And he landed the right hand there. who has such tremendous power, fight behind a jab. It shows you how much he's evolving. He's not just searching for the knockout blow, he's trying to set it up. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Huge block there. Kareem gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. So just over 20 total strikes have now found the target for Alistair Oakley. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting. Oh, man, what a connection right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, a huge block there. Beautiful strike. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, nice right hand. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting. All right, five minutes down. Here we go at the start of round two. Francis Ngannou. And on the other side, Alistair Overeem. Overeem gets stung by that leg kick. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, big knee. back to range. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. So 37 total strikes have now landed for Alistair Over. While the accuracy rate not great, below 40%, now 38% on the connections against Francis Ngannou. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, 
That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Just out of range with that left hook. Overeem's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. That shot blocked by Ngana. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Blocks the shot. with that attempt. The next with a right. There, DC, he is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. What a round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display. Third and final round here. Oh, that is a huge left hook from Francis Ngannou. Somehow, some way, his opponent's still standing. I mean, I, I, this guy's chin is made of granite in order to take a punch like that from Francis Ngannou. One of the most powerful guys I've ever seen step into the UFC option. Good punch. Straight punch there. His punch. Right there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. All right, the unofficial. Oh! Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. Ooh, big shot, man. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, he tagged him with the uppercut there. Shades of DC against John Jones at the second meeting. No? I mean, great job of getting in close and throwing that uppercut from a great angle. You're just going to stonewall me on that, John Oh, Jones. I love it. I hit him with a ton of them. Mouthpiece came out. Mouthpiece went flying. We love you, John. Jones. It was one of my nicest and most fun moments. Oh, oh he hurt. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are hurt. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Under two minutes now with which to work. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Shot is blocked there by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. Hands high, hands high. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad.
and they separate. Well, the left hook is... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Fifteen seconds. Straight punch lands. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so a close fight goes the distance here tonight, DC. I know you're not a judge, but any lean to one fighter or the other? I mean, when I watched the fight, I believe that he did enough. But when these fights are this close, it's razor, razor thin. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is...